heading down the river today for a couple days on the Red Deer River. Taking off from 590 and here's our rigs. And should be a good go. So Heather's running a motor and I'm just going with the old paddle. And I have a sail too. So we'll see what the conditions are. We want to get going before the rain starts. So we'll see you on the river. <laughs> We're on the river. That's nice, we got the wind at our backs finally. That almost never happens. We're making some good time. Our goal is to get to an island at some point down the river here. There's about three or four within an hour or so here. Basically we'll camp up there and set up our tarps and our tent and we're going to cook some steak and chicken. Kind of a special way that we prepared them. What we did is cook them up earlier, froze them almost complete, and then we're going to cook them over the firebox stove with an alcohol burner at the bottom. And basically reheat them in tin foil and see what they taste like. Hopefully that works out good. And uh, we'll get back to you shortly. Here we are, it's nice and quiet and peaceful on the river. Really green, really pretty. Some cool cloud formations there too. You should get a picture of those. Yeah. Well that's the rain, I think it's following us. We're gonna try and make some pace and get ahead of it. Anyway, I think we should get our boats facing the right direction and get cruising down the river a bit more.
There's Heather checking the map to see where the next set of islands are going to be as we float down the river. Well, that's not too bad. We're doing 7.1 or 7.0 at the float. Normally we don't get anything close to three in this river, so it's running a little faster. And uh, yeah, we'll be down in no time. First major island, we got a little bit of ripple over here. Oh, the wind's blowing us from the back. Starting to get a little bit of rain, so we're going to think about pulling over and setting up our camp in the next little bit here. o'clock there's our first pelican he's just kind of sitting in the water right by where we're probably going to camp so maybe we'll have a, a visitor for the night I don't know we're going to check out this spot over to the right and we're going to see if there's any good camping spots up there and then if that's it we're going to get off the river for the night and get our camp set up so it looks like we've just landed here we're going to get a tarp set up probably over here and get our tent up. Some nasty clouds coming our way, so we're just going to get off the river for a bit. Hopefully this isn't too bad. And Heather's on her boat trying to get off without getting a wet foot. And the river is flowing really fast today. This is record time to get this far in. Alright guys, it is tarp time. We're just going to try and quickly get a tarp up with this stuff here. And probably to these trees and come out this way a bit with the uh, north side covered facing outward so that way if it really comes down we're we're in good shape over here so we'll uh, stay tuned Well guys, 
we got a hastily set up tarp because we thought we were going to get killed on by a rain cloud. It hasn't hit yet, but we're still going to keep setting up camp and get prepared. We basically did this and kayaks are down there and mine's just down the way. So we still have more to unload. Once we do that, we're going to get camp set up and then get uh, dinner started. Yeah, we got our own trail. It goes all the way up there, all the way to the water. And we'll head up there and see what's up there too. Yeah, we'll check that out later tonight. So we decided to check out the trail just to make sure there was nothing nasty up here. Just looks like a game trail. Kind of thorny. Uh, that kind of goes into the bush. I think we're good. Maybe deer trail, but that doesn't look like a cow trail to me. We've got the basic shell up now. The good news about this guy is you can set the outer up and then put the inner in later. So if it's really raining, you can just get it up quick and not get the rest of the tent wet and then put it in when it slows down. Or if you get inside, you can do it from the inside. So Heather's gonna go and stick it in now and we'll continue. Well, our tarp is all set up now. We're pretty much ready to rock. This is all our gear for now. And it's just kind of starting to rain. Anyway, found a good spot. Beautiful scenery. And there's the tent. Alright guys, so we're going to set up the kitchen. And of course, we're in mosquito territory, so we got the old thermocell. Let's see how that thing does. So basically we have our wine box here, which we usually bring out. We got our two wine flexible glasses. Squishy squish. And we're going to be cooking with the alcohol stove today. So this guy inside of the firebox stove. So we'll get to that in a minute. All right, so we're gonna set up the stove, guys. First thing we have to do is open this up. Get this guy out. Pull out the fire sticks. Open her up all the way, and then drop this down here. And then it's pretty much solid, ready to go. And then you gotta figure out the proper angle for the alcohol stove and I think this is it but I might have to correct this yeah no it's this one over here I hope this is the right one again oh yeah perfect so it just sits in there like that we have to just level it out and then we're just gonna fill this with methyl hydrate And it's easier to use a squeeze bottle because it keeps it kind of from making a mess. All right, that should be enough for now. We'll just put the top on just to keep it from evaporating. And then the final piece, once we get to cooking, is we're going to try cooking over a grill so that the heat spreads across our, our uh, meals that we had planned. So we won't put this in until we light it, but it basically goes in like that. And then all the heat should get all transferred to this. And then we're basically gonna be cooking these two tinfoil packs of steak or chicken, whichever you like. That'll be in a little bit. Okay, and that's the firebox stove grill. I have a glass of red wine after that ex exhausting paddle, which it wasn't. There you go. Thank you. Cheers to a good campsite. Cheers. Mm.
You can see this working away too. Like the old coils. But this like little guy smoking, hey? Let's just hope that works. Lots of bugs around here. Not the perfect ideal campsite, but when it's going to rain like that, you never know. It's Pretty nice. Over. Yeah. So we're rigged in for the night with our boats. We expect to get some more rain, but I mean, if it doesn't rain, great. It'd be easier in the morning to get all ready to go. Beautiful scenery. River's high and fast, so makes for easy paddling for sure. Okay, we're going to start this up, do our striker, there we go, let that do its thing, and we're going to put our gloves on, because it's going to get warm real quick, and we'll put our grill on. So all you do is you put the grill like so, and then you take one of these little guys, you just bend it into place like that. Now we've got a hot grill going. This is chicken tiki masala going on right now. And we're just going to see how that works. Mmm, you can start to smell that. There we go guys, we got a nice little flame coming up. Definitely sizzling. We'll see how this works out. This is a 100% experiment, so no idea how this is going to cook. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's still kind of frozen. We had it really froze good today, and then we had to open it up and we're just going to kind of flip it around. Man, the GoPro 9, when they come out with that, it better have smell-o-vision. This is good. seconds and then we'll take her off the fire. Well, one thing's pretty apparent. We need to get a camouflage tripod. If anyone knows of where a guy can get one for a reasonable price, comment below. We decided just to have a real modest fire tonight down by the river, right by the reeds. We're basically below the low water mark now, so we've just got some stones there, wet, muddy sand, and then that'll be it. Just burning driftwood, whatever you can dig up and find. So we'll get that started in a little bit. Starting the fire. I'm trying to see if I can get the triac thing to light for the spark. Oh, there it goes. This wood's kind of wet, but what we got to work with. Let's see if that goes.
This must be where all the pelicans hang out on Friday night. They all landed with all their buddies just up the river from us. Pretty cool. I think she's going now. A little bit of rain coming down too, so who knows how long this will last. Could be over shortly, yeah. We have a nice little fire for the night by the water edge. And our pelican buddies are just over here in the distance. All those white specks. Pretty cool. Fire's rocking a bit now. And we got a nice little rain coming down. The pitter patter in the water. Pelicans are still there. Heather's on fire detail. Well, rain's starting to pick up, so we're just going to put on our waterproofs and then uh, hang out by the fire and hopefully it passes. It's a pretty nice night. It's warm, but a little bit rainy. Nice, modest little fire. Perfect before we hit the bed. Well, everything's gone very quiet. Heather's in bed. The fire's burning down. The pelicans have left. And it's pretty dark. Anyway, signing off for the night. We'll see you guys in the morning. It rained on and off through the night, but we've got a pretty cool morning going on. Just gotta get out of bed, get things moving. Yep.
Pretty simple breakfast today, just scrambled eggs with bacon, dehigh style, with a little bit of ketchup. We'll get that cooking up. And we're off shortly, Heather's launching. And we're off. What's that? The only way I can catch up. <laughs> That's a pretty gray cloud above us. We got us a nice little backwind, so we've decided to do a float and hang out for a bit. Yeah, we're just heading down the river. It's pretty high, so no worry about rapids or anything. Yeah, yeah. And it looks like that storm cloud went off that way, so we're missing that one. That's going to drop right away, and if it's not already going. Yeah, a little shower. Yeah, we got the sun on our side. Here's our little family of pelicans that were probably hanging out with us last night. Looks like they're having their lunch.
those are some impressive cliffs up there. They are squawky today. Messed up wing. We were thinking of camping on this island, guys, but eh, it just doesn't have the appeal. Nowhere to tarp up, so it's gonna be rain later today, probably. Anyway, continue on down the river. Yeah, this other island here we're looking at, guys. Too small. That's over here. Kind of back there, right? This is our stop for night two. I almost got taken down this thing. I barely made it onto shore. Had to drag my boat up. And we've got Heather over here, who's about to get out of her boat. And this is going to be our home for the night. A little island in the middle of the river. And we're just going to go start exploring and see what we find. Very cool. There's Heather leveling some sand out, place where we're going to put our tent. 
Yeah, our own beach, private beach. Some of this might need to be cleaned up though, but it's a cool island. There's a neat little center, kind of like a layer animals probably travel through. And then really fast current down this way. So couldn't really ask for anything better for night two. This is great. And you can't beat that scenery. Before setting up camp, we needed to dry everything out because things were quite wet this morning. Uh, so there's a tent and then our tarps over here for now to get some more weight on that one, I think. Pretty windy here, so once this is given a 20 minutes to dry, we're gonna put the tent up over here and then figure out what we're gonna do with the tarp if we need to at all. Depends on what's gonna happen tonight. Definitely nice having your own island. So we got the tent set up. It's pretty windy. Windy or winds coming from the north, which is up there. So we have to rock out on this part and just hope it stays. Once we get stuff in it, it'll be fine. But that's kind of what we had to do for now. Heather's having a lunch. A little bit of uh, tuna. Alright guys, Heather's just made up the beds, we're getting ready, well it's not quite time for sleep yet. Yeah, take a look. She comes out of the tent. So we have our different sleeping areas, that's mine, that's hers, very comfy, and we're on sand so this is real nice. And we have our vestibule here if we want to put stuff in there. Rock down, of course. And we got our little vent at the top, so should be good. No bugs here. Uh, thanks for setting my bed, Heather. Here we have my kayak. New Sen. And I do have a little trolling motor and battery for when it's really windy and you're facing a headwind and you're actually going backwards. It's nice to have that little extra and then I can also catch up to Phil because <laughs> he paddles way faster and stronger than me. We have a little, a little tarp in there strapped in. Phil custom made this. These slide in here like where you put fishing poles and he made this and then we attach the motor to that. I sewed this little cover for it. I might do another one that's a little more stretchy. You can fit in here and it's like a skirt, right? And here we have some more camel here. And yeah, my paddle, and we got it tied up nicely. And then this is my seat. It goes in there. You can also take it out and sit on the beach, a nice rocky beach. And we have this chair. And here we have the HMS Archmodius. And Phil, why don't you give us a run through from front to back? All right, so starting up here, we've got the usual panel up here. I'm just drawing my gloves here. This is a cover that basically goes over the entire cockpit. So at night, if it's raining and you don't want to take everything apart or flip your boat over, it seals you in. Yeah, that's good. Underneath, we've got a whole bunch of storage here. So you can basically put in um, specially shaped packs. You know, sort of the triangular ones and you can pour some in. And I got 10 liters of water stored down there for now. We've got a lot of other stuff at the camp, so that's not a, uh, an empty or a used space. It's, it's going to be full later. Here we have the sail, which we haven't deployed. The wind's been really good. I'd love to do it, but it's just too fast almost. So We might try it tomorrow Yeah. because we still have a tailwind. So all you do is pop this guy. So you can roll this all the way up. Locks in here with Velcro. And, and we made that too, cover for it. Ah, so we get a sail. Ah. And <laughs> yeah. we take it into the wind. You see the point there, that works out quite well. 
we'll just let that go down for this demonstration. Now here's just the usual GoPro clamp. A little compass there. Yep. Oh yeah, we have the compass here just telling you where you're at. Generally it's not super accurate, but you know which way you're generally going. Tie down strap, we got a kayak paddle. Uh, kind of a place where you can snap it into place. It's nice and lightweight too. Yep. I have cables on each side with carabiners so you can basically attach any gear and I've got like a little pouch here with fishing stuff, sunglasses, bug spray, water, whatever you want. Um, this is extra seat cushions. That, this is quite a crappy kayak seat. And then back here, in the back you can feed things all the way through the back and basically, you know, these, these size type of uh, bags. And you know, that's my clothing. That's my food for the trip. And that's all like waterproof thing. too. All waterproof, yep. Fishing kits here, haven't taken it out today, but that's where it is, so that's all I need for this kind of a trip. This is a waterproof cover that generally just seeds the rain, and it's used for what I'll call kind of emergency stuff. So we usually keep a tarp in here, bungee cords, um, tie down stakes, all that kind of stuff. Even an ax through here if you wanted to, and basically, let's say it starts raining like crazy the side of the river you can just pull over and get a quick shelter up without having to undo all your stuff so then we'll flip to the back here we'll pull this up and this is like a mesh thing and it holds all sorts of things so this is all cold weather gear so lots of gloves boots hats neoprene type of stuff that you can take with you this is the what I call the legal kit. There's the baler and bug spray and things like that. That fits in there. It's got a set of water booties that I keep in here if I'm not doing these. Yeah, those are nice too. Plus, this thing here, if I can get it out, contains two different things that are quite important. So if you're not going open cockpit, you have two choices. You can go full seal cockpit, which means you can sit in this and then put a rain jacket on. Essentially, you're waterproof and it straps right over the whole cockpit so you're completely covered. Or if it's kind of rainy or you just like it, this is called Spray Deck, which gives you storage, some water resiliency, especially if you're going through waves, and then it still keeps you some water. So you're sitting in here and this part goes around you, right? Like yeah. That, yeah. And then just other things in here bags. Flags, a couple tarps. That's yes, we saw that earlier, the Royal Marines flag. And then here, <laughs> we'll pull this off. Mm -hmm. Get it off. And this pulls up and you have even more storage. So just clothing and other equipment that you can keep. Type of thing. And what's in here? So this is our kitchen kit, which yeah. we keep close at hand because if you pull over, you don't, again, want to have to go through all your other stuff, so we keep it very close and just basically a little clip here, pop that open, and the bell grows up, and then, of course, all the imaginable stuff you can have in a kitchen kit. So, wine glasses, uh, cups, we got a uh, cooking top. pan, knives, spatulas, all that good stuff. Very good. There you go. That's kind of the boat in it. And here's our camp, kind of camoed up. Boats are subdued, just for fun. Hard to see from far away. That's just a view from our seats at the camp. There's our kayaks, just sitting there, kind of camoed up. Just for fun. I can barely see Heather's. Mine looks like a furry log or something. Heather started boiling water for her MRE potatoes. I think, what are you having now? What's that one? Chana Masala. Chana Masala. We'll see what that tastes like. So that's kind of uh, supper for tonight. Wind's died down a bit, but we're ready for more of it. And if it rains, we're going under there. But I think it might be a nice night, so we'll see. So Heather's eating an MRE. This is quite the, the potatoes au gratin. Cheesy. She says it's pretty good. Yep. I'm gonna pop that on, right? Uh, just let that burn. 
Unless you got gloves sometimes. Not much in it. You're going to burn your fingers. Just pour your stuff in. I can drop it on. Try it. If you can get it. If Which you can, one is it? The little one? That one, yeah. It's harder than you think. Yeah, because it's so hot. Yep, too hot. You'd have to like... so we're trying out Chana Masala. It's rice, garbanzo bean, coconut milk powder, tomato, onion rice, turmeric, cumin seed, lots of spices. Yeah, it sounds good. Backpacker pantry. Oh, yeah. There's lots. Yeah, and it's all rehydrated. Nice and hot. Yeah, that looks good. Try a little piece. Verdict? Really good. Good spices. Smells good from here. Yeah, it's good. Mm. That's a rebuy then. Looks like we got lots of ungulate tracks here. Moose, deer, and whatnot. Lots of mosquitoes too. Now we got some beaver wood up ahead it looks like. Pretty big holes. Probably bulls coming through here. And there we have the beaver. That's a pretty cool piece of beaver wood. Well, we just did a quick recon of the island. Pretty much lots of mud and boggy stuff and uh, lots of firewood so we're gathering a bit more just for tonight's fire It'll be a little bigger than last night's for sure i think we're in for some rain uh, again i hope not but i guess if we get it we get it anyway here's our firewood pile just all driftwood so not a big deal about to start the fire We got a fair bit of wind tonight, so this will probably go downrange pretty quick. Helios lighter. It's the ultimate. The fire has caught. So this should just keep going good. Wind is directly at our back, so all the flame and smoke are going to go that way. And there's really not much of a problem here because this is really wet sand and green vegetation so and water right there. yeah and the water right there so if something goes wrong easy problem to solve lots of birds flying around still anyway that's the beginning of our fire it's really cool
post. Fence posts a fair game if they're found on an island in the middle of the river. Oh yeah, it's been already been deteriorated and become driftwood. But not that fancy driftwood that you see that people put in their gardens. It's still a good fire. We're good to go. Well, it's been a good night. Heather's gone to change her contacts out, go to the glasses. We're just enjoying the fire and all the scenery around. Lots of ducks and birds flying around. Pretty cool evening. Our fire is still going good. We're keeping it low. We'll get a bit of cloud coming in tonight. We'll see what this looks like. for a tiny bit of weather but you never know Might be a spot of rain coming up, getting kind of windy. We're hunker down under our tarp and we'll see what happens. Just started to rain real light. It's pretty gray out. We're hunkered down under the tarp. Anyhow, this will be a good night for us. We'll see you guys in the morning. Kind of a colder morning. Heather's in the tent getting tent stuff rolled up. And we're just getting a tee on and basically gonna chill out for a little bit and wait for it to warm up and then hit back on the river. Probably do a little breakfast as well. See how that goes. Receded quite a bit last night. We took a video of this squall of water that was going over this rock that that rock wasn't there yesterday. And we had to move our boats this far down to start prepping. Anyway, we're getting ready to get on the river again. We're taking down the tents and tarps. And uh, yeah, we'll be on our way shortly. Launching day three. Pushing off from shore. Here we go. Quite overcast today. And we got 
got a nice tailwind again, so this should make it an easy paddle. Breakfast on the river, Heather's doing Kit Kat. I'm doing some beef jerky. We're just gonna float and eat instead of having to waste a bunch of time at camp. So we make up some time on the river. There's where we're getting out, Tolman Bridge. Right past there on the left, there's a little pullout. So that is pretty much it for us. It's been a good trip. This is kind of cool. This is where all the birds' nests are underneath the bridge. And we're just pulling over to the left here in a little bit, and then we're off the river. Got an eagle up in the tree there, just spying on us just before landing. Mm -hmm. 